Just so awful. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Lorenzo Hall. I'm Leslie Foster, and your heart just breaks for this child's family tonight because this didn't have to happen. Yeah, the shooting happened at around 3.30 this afternoon on 48th Place in Northeast, right near Kelly Miller Middle School in Aton Elementary School. Dozens of children were getting off school buses when this shooting happened. Katie Lusso is live from MPD headquarters with some new information on the investigation. Katie? Yeah, and this young man, he had his entire life ahead of him. Well, tonight, police are working tirelessly to track down his killers, or as his grandmother calls them, a bunch of cowards. Andre meant everything to me. I'm angry as hell. That somebody, another coward, then took my grandson. She says her grandson, 15-year-old Andre Robertson, a student at Cesar Chavez Public Charter School, was sitting on his great-grandmother's porch on 48th Place in Northeast around 3.30 Wednesday afternoon when he was gunned down. Some coward just came through here and murdered my little grandson for no reason. My little grandson ain't nothing but this tall. Police say three suspects pulled up in this gold car, walked up to the porch and fired several rounds. His grandmother says his mom called her hysterical. She's like, Andre, somebody just shot Andre and he's not moving. He was flown to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police say the shooting happened just steps from Kelly Miller Middle School, which was temporarily put on lockdown and right as a school bus was pulling up. Approximately 50 kids that were exiting the bus. Um, this is a, a, a drop off location. DC police say they later found the suspect's car in Oxon Hill burnt up. His grandmother had this to say to his killers. My message to them. What goes around comes around. That's the only message I got for them. Another young life lost to gun violence. Was a good kid, was not into stolen cars, none of that, none of the stuff that them youth in today. My grandson was not in there. He go to school and he come home. This is a 15 year old, 15. We're asking for all, all to come together and let's close this case. Let's end this violence. and truly senseless violence. Now, police, they are still searching for three suspects. As I mentioned, they did find the car involved in all this, but they are still searching for those suspects. They're asking that if you have any information that you come forward, and just a reminder, you can remain anonymous. Outside MPD headquarters, I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA 9.